Top 10 most populated free MMORPG on Steam. What's going on, Saviors GH here? Today, we're going to be looking at MMORPGs on Steam with the highest average players. These are the MMORPGs on Steam with the most players, guys, in the last 30 days. And as always, let's not waste any more time. Let's do this. And oh yeah, guys, before we start, I'm just going to say that I'll be removing any play to earn MMOs from this list as most people in those games are investors, not players. And with that out of the way, first off, MMO number 10 is Neverwinter, coming in with an average of 847 players on Steam last month with concurrent players of 1,182. It's a fantasy action MMORPG set in the Forgotten Realm universe of the popular Dungeons & Dragons franchise. In Neverwinter, players can engage in various activities such as questing, dungeons, PvP, combat against other players, in arenas and battlegrounds, trading, crafting, and socializing with other players in the game's social hubs to form groups and joining player-created guilds. If you want a traditional MMORPG with a decent story, nice graphics, free to play and it's easy to get into because it downloads as you play, give this one a try. Additionally, it's worth noting that it's playable outside of Steam, which means there are more players to enjoy the game with. Next MMO, number 9, is Torum Online. Coming in with an average of 896 players and 967 players concurrent, it's a cross-platform tab-targeting anime MMORPG where players can create a character and explore a vast anime-inspired world. In Torum Online, classes or jobs are determined by your weapon. You want to be a swordsman? Equip a sword. You want to be a mage? Wear a staff. And as you're seeing in the video, there's a wide range of cosmetics to choose from in Torum Online. Some of them you can just get by playing, and most are obtained in the in-game cash shop. Torum Online is an MMORPG usually referred to as a cosplaying game. This one is a nice MMO, especially if you prefer playing on your mobile device, either occasionally or regularly. MMORPG number 8 is Granado Espada, with an average of 981 players in the last 30 days, and with concurrent players of 1,558, it's a tab-targeting MMORPG with a focus on adventure and character development. The game is set in a fictional version of Europe in the 17th and 18th centuries during the age of exploration and colonialism. The game features a range of historical elements such as clothing, architecture, and technology, which are blended with fantastical elements such as magic, monsters, and other supernatural elements. One of the main features of Granado Spada is its unique family system. This allows players to create and manage a team of characters known as family members, each with their own unique set of skills and abilities. The family system provides a flexible and customizable way for players to build and manage their team, with a range of options and strategies available to suit different playstyles and preferences. With up to three family members at a time, players can switch between them during gameplay and experiment with different team compositions and strategies. In addition, the family system also features a larger pool of reserved family members that can be swapped in and out of the active roster as needed. You know, I've been checking this game out from time to time, and I'll be honest, I was expecting it to be on live support. However, there's always a decent number of players enjoying Granado Espada. And remember, this was released during the golden age of MMOs, a long time ago. It's quite impressive to see its player base holding up even after all these years. Next, free MMO, number 7, is Star Trek Online. It has an average of 988 and 1065 players playing a few minutes ago. Star Trek Online is a sci-fi MMORPG set in the expansive and iconic Star Trek universe. In this game, players have the opportunity to create their own unique captain and starships, choosing from various factions such as Starfleet, the Klingon Defense Force, or the Romulan Republic. It features story-driven missions, space and ground combat, ship customization, and PvP options. The game is rich in Star Trek lore, including iconic ships and species. It's free to play with in-game purchases. This MMO is updated regularly and continues to provide new content and experiences for players exploring the final frontier. MMO number 6 is Trove. It's got an average of 1,141 players in the last 30 days and 1,255 players playing an hour ago. It's a voxel MMORPG with action combat and a colorful, vibrant world. In Trove, players can explore a voxel-based world, battle monsters and bosses, collect resources and loot, build and customize their own structures, complete quests and challenges, join clubs for socializing, participate in events, and engage in PvP combat. Trope just got a new update called the Fluxion Update, and it brings a plethora of new features and improvements to enhance the gameplay. Trove is a decent MMO with solid action combat. It boasts a lively world that people still play today, and it still continues to receive updates. It wouldn't hurt to check it out, especially since it's free. Now, MMO number 5 is Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis. It has an average of 2,032 players in the last 30 days and currently has 2,321 players playing it. 
And guys, this is also playable on consoles and also in the Windows Store and Epic Games Store. So there will be more players. They should actually be higher on the list, but this is a Steam video, so yeah. PSO2 NGS is an action MMORPG with a mix of sci-fi and anime. In Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis, players can immerse themselves in a vast and visually stunning world, ripe for exploration. This expansive world offers a multitude of activities and experiences, including dynamic action combat with a variety of weapons and abilities, character creation with extensive customization options, story-driven quests, and the opportunity to team up with others in parties and alliances to conquer challenging content. Additionally, customization is a strong focus, allowing players to fine-tune their character's appearance with a wide range of cosmetic items. To keep it simple, this is an online JRPG where you can cosplay a lot. This is actually my most recommended MMO in this list because you can play this game without even thinking about the cash shop. The game's not perfect, nothing is. Among all the MMOs I'm gonna mention in this video, this is my preferred one. MMORPG number 4 is Maple Story. It has an average of 5,133 in the last 30 days and around 6k right now. Maple Story is a 2D side-scrolling MMORPG developed by a South Korean company, Wizet. It's known for its colorful and cartoonish graphics as well as its engaging and social gameplay. And yeah, I think I should pause because this game is a NA exclusive, the one on Steam. And if you want to access Maple Story, you're gonna have to find it on the Google search. Now, in Maple Story, your adventure begins by selecting a character class from a wide range of options, each with its unique set of skills. And as you embark on your journey, you'll explore colorful 2D landscapes, complete quests, and engage in battles against a variety of monsters. But Maple Story is not just about action. It's a world of customization and social interaction. You can personalize your character's appearance and playstyle, I guess chat with a fellow player, join guilds, and team up for both cooperative PvE challenges and competitive PvP showdowns. As you progress through the game, you'll level up, unlock new job classes, and face formidable bosses. Maple Story also keeps things exciting with constant stream of special events and updates, ensuring that your adventure is always fresh and filled with new challenges. And okay, for our top 3, it's Waven. This is a new MMORPG by the way, and right now, the average is 8,381 with around 11k players concurrent. It's a colorful MMORPG with turn-based tactical combat. In Waven, you'll step in a colorful world as a chosen hero, each with their unique abilities, and you'll navigate the islands to uncover answers, engage in turn-based combat, and you'll wield spells, weapons, and companions to secure victory. You can customize your hero's gear and skills to match your style, and take on monsters for resources and gear in PvE, or test your prowess against other players in PvP battles. Now, one of the highlights of Waven lies in its combat system, which is turn-based and tactical in nature, where combat unfolds on a grid, adding a layer of strategic depth to every encounter. This system emphasizes thoughtful planning and decision-making as players carefully position their characters, deploy spell, and engage with enemies in a methodical manner. The grid-based combat encourages players to consider terrain advantages, enemy positions, and their characters' unique abilities, fostering an engaging and dynamic gameplay experience. I like the challenge each of the quests gives, and the monetization, at least for now, to me, is free-to-play friendly. But my opinion on the monetization could change because I plan to play this until I get to the end game and we'll see how it goes. And for our top 2, it's Albion Online. Coming in with 8,852 players in the last 30 days, this is the second most populated free MMORPG on Steam. Albion Online is a sandbox MMORPG where you write your own story. Here we go again. Hopefully you didn't get an advertisement about Albion Online. If you did, tell me in the comments. Is it the old ad or the newer ones? Anyway, to be honest, the continuous advertisement of this game is one of the reasons that it's still relevant and also it got officially released in Asia, so yeah. In Albion Online, you'll be crafting, gathering materials, crafting, visiting dungeons or ruins, crafting again to get more treasures and loot, pretty standard. But again, you'll be chopping wood here, mining and harvesting to craft your equipment. And while doing all that, you will level up your skills. Then at the end, it's guild and PvP. And for the top most populated free MMORPG, it's Lost Ark. Coming in with an average of 26,869 players and the concurrent is a lot more. Lost Ark is the free MMORPG with the most players on Steam. And for a good reason, it's a great game. Doesn't exactly have a good publisher, but it's getting updated very regularly. Actually, this is the best MMORPG I know in terms of regular updates. Now, if you don't know Lost Ark, the developer is describing this as an MMO action RPG. What you basically do here is select a class from a myriad of classes, then after that you will go through the story of the game. 
And at the end game, you will be doing daily activities and weekly missions, which are basically boss fights for the weeklies. And the dailies are fighting waves of mobs and a garden raid that slightly resembles Monster Hunter. This is my second preferred MMO. And guys, do you want to see the upcoming MMORPG of 2023 and beyond? There it goes on the screen. Leave a like before you go. And this is Jamie Hardcore. See you in the next one.